The raccoon, or Procyon lotor, is a mammal native to North America where it is commonly found except for extreme cold and arid climates. Their lifespan is two to three years in the wild and approximately 20 years in captivity. Raccoons on average are about two to three feet long, weighing about 10 to 30 pounds. Males tend to be larger than females. Their thick fur is great to brown in color and aids in insulating them during the cold winter season. They have distinct features of black fur around the eye area, which looks mask-like, and have dark and light colored rings around the bushy tail. The front paws have five toes and are very sensitive and dexterous, making it possible for climbing, turning doorknobs, and unscrewing jars to get food. Raccoons typically give birth in spring, but it is not uncommon for them to have babies or kits before or after the spring season. Most females begin reproducing around one year of age and give birth to one litter a year of about four kits on average. The gestation period is approximately 65 days. When the mother is close to giving birth, she will find a solitary place to den it is here that the babies typically stay with the mom for 8 to 10 weeks. Once the raccoons have matured, they will break off from the mother. This usually occurs after 14 months or once their mother's new litter has arrived. Their natural habitat is in tree cavities and brush or wood piles near ponds, lakes, and creeks. Common urban habitats are in attics, barns, and junk piles. Raccoons are omnivores, eating both plants and animals. They consume what is available in their direct habitat. In a traditional habitat, they are known to eat plant foods including all kinds of fruits, berries, nuts, acorns, corn, and other types of grain. Raccoons also consume small prey such as crayfish, clams, fish, frogs, snails, insects, turtles, rabbits, muskrats, and the eggs and young of ground nesting birds including waterfowl. When introduced in urban settings, in addition to feeding on backyard fruits, nuts, and vegetables, they scavenge from garbage cans and compost piles. Pet food left outside overnight and bird feeders both serve as an excellent food source, with some people intentionally providing food for raccoons. Initially, it was thought that raccoons were strictly solitary animals, but it has been found that they congregate in gender-specific groups. Females gather in a group for foraging and resting, while the males as a group attack foreigners entering their territory. Females do separate from the group completely when they have kits. Raccoons are nocturnal creatures that forage and feed during the night, but it is not uncommon to see them out during the day hours. They feed in the spring and rest in the winter, but do not hibernate. If threatened, a raccoon vocalizes warnings with hissing, growls, and snarls. They can run up to 15 miles per hour to escape the few predators that pose a threat to them, but their primary risk is being struck by automobiles. If you see spilled garbage cans, it is likely that a raccoon has been paying a visit to your yard. Ongoing raccoon activity can be identified by latrines in certain areas inhabited by raccoons or also by paw prints left behind near feeding and living areas. 
Typically, raccoons prefer to inhabit hollow trees and logs near lakes and streams. They are known to venture into populated areas, becoming a nuisance as they search for refuge and forage for food. Raccoons will also use existing structures to construct a den. Some of their favorite habitats are the areas beneath porches, outbuildings, attics, and chimneys. Sometimes, evidence of raccoons entering and exiting attics can be seen, such as in these pictures. Common problems occur when raccoons look for nesting sites in buildings. Females in search of nesting sites may rip off shingles, fascia board, or rooftop ventilators to get into the attic. Once inside the attic, insulation on walls may be torn up, ripped off, and destroyed. Raccoons may begin using an area of the attic for a latrine, and the ceiling beneath may become stained with urine and need to be replaced. Many of the ectoparasites that the raccoon carries may infest the attic and migrate to other parts of the house. Raccoon damage to crops is also quite common. Sweet corn is usually the number one target. They will climb the stalk and tear it down to gain access to the corn. Damage usually occurs right before harvest. They will also often roll up newly laid turf when looking for worms and grubs and will occasionally prey upon koi in backyard ponds. Raccoons are known to carry a number of diseases and internal parasites. The raccoon roundworm, an infection spread to people by the accidental ingestion or inhalation of roundworm eggs from raccoon feces, has caused increased concern in recent years. Roundworm infection can cause serious disabilities and young children are thought to be more susceptible. The roundworm is present in the raccoon scat and will lay dormant for up to seven years before dying off. The only way to kill the roundworm is to heat it and using boiling water is usually what is recommended. Due to the concern of ectoparasites in attics and other urban areas where a raccoon has been living, these areas should be cleaned up and disinfected. Hazardous waste companies are usually the ones that will come in and clean attics after a raccoon has moved in. The cost can range anywhere from $10,000 to $20,000 for them to completely strip, disinfect, and re-insulate an attic. And costs for trapping and removing raccoons anywhere from $100 to $1,000. In California, raccoons are classified as fur bearers. The fur harvest season is set by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, which further determines when and how raccoons may be taken. However, raccoons causing damage may be taken at any time by legal means. The California Department of Fish and Game regulations prohibit the relocation of raccoons and other wildlife without written permission of the department. Raccoons are a common pest found in urban settings. Being nocturnal animals, we rarely see them during the day and usually witness the aftermath from their nighttime shenanigans. Often raccoons live in residential areas and being aware of this, there are some things you can do to try to minimize raccoon damage. Raccoons are typically found around houses because they contain food sources. So in an effort to reduce available food, it is important to make sure that garbage bins are securely closed and secured to a fence or some structure to prevent raccoons from tipping over trash cans. Also make sure that wood piles or other places that may serve as a den or latrine are checked for raccoon activity or modified to prevent raccoons from establishing there. Being observant of your property and keeping it clean and orderly is the most reasonable approach one can take to prevent raccoon damage. By using exclusion methods like clearing brush, using electrifying fences, and making sure entry points to a house are sealed up, you can prevent raccoons from becoming a nuisance. Ordinary fences will not keep raccoons from gardens or yards as the animals will either dig under or climb over them. 
A low two-wire electric fence can be very effective for excluding raccoons from sweet corn, melons, and other highly preferred crops. Due to raccoons being nocturnal, the fence charger only needs to be activated from dusk to dawn. If a raccoon population is already established in an area, the best way to get rid of them is to trap them and then focus on exclusion because you don't want to seal off your attic, leaving a raccoon in it. A single door live trap can be used to capture raccoons and is readily available for purchase at a local farm supply shop. However, there are many risks of trapping raccoons. Once trapped, raccoons are very likely to become hostile and dangerous. Due to California regulations, raccoons must be killed and disposed of once trapped, which presents a large challenge for most people. Raccoons also vector several diseases and parasites like rabies and raccoon ringworm, which are deadly to humans. It is recommended for you to contact a professional wildlife control operator to remove the animal. A professional trapper has the proper equipment and qualifications to deal with the raccoon.